Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Thought I would do a spy review today. I haven't looked at the spy for a couple of weeks. So, well, I look at it every day, but I mean, I haven't done a review on the spy. I've been doing them on the QQQs, uh, mainly because the QQQs have been holding better than the spy, uh, but the spy still held. And in fact, yesterday ran up over both the, those gaps and carried on over itself and has proved its strength. The SPY has been a lot stronger than the Qs for a long, long time. Um, and then the Qs caught up to the SPY, and then the, kind, the SPY pulled in a little bit, but it didn't really go anywhere big. I don't think we get over the high of the day here into the close, but anything's possible now because we're lifting up a bit. 168.88, well, we might get up to 169 here before the close. I, I think we're going to close similar to this, or we might close with a little teeny weeny green body. The, despite the fact we didn't go anywhere today and have a doji-like day, no matter what happens here, the, the body of the length of the bar will be doji-like today. Despite that, um, this is incredibly strong for the market, not just for the spies that cues all the all-over market, because we gapped up in the middle of no man's land and held. And we very well could have come in intraday today and traded down red into here. We could have done that. There wouldn't have been anything wrong with that, and that wouldn't have been bearish whatsoever. On the longer-term trend, we would have still been bullish. But the fact that we held today and kind of rested, this is a rest day for the market. We gapped up and rested in the middle of no man's land, in the sky. We gapped up and rested in the sky. So we're higher tomorrow. In fact, I wouldn't put it past us to gap up again tomorrow. But, you know, every time we do this, we're not getting the move in today. But, you know, it's really something here, isn't it? I don't even know why I'm saying that, because I've been calling it all along. 168.39, 168.26. So we'll see where we go tomorrow. No matter what we do now, we're bullish, though, here. I mean, if we gap up tomorrow, we're bullish. If we open neutral, we're bullish. If we gap down tomorrow, we're still bullish. There's there's just nothing to do but buy. There's no short here in the market at all. So the market is going to break over this area. I don't think this is happening in the next week. Uh, but it could. I mean, it really, really could. Uh, if we just decide to just do it. It would be a nicer gap if we got all the way up above to this placement here and just ran. I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. But we did rest today. We actually rested the entire trading day. So that's eight straight hours of trading and not going anywhere. The total range on the day from the high to the low was less than a dollar, basically 60 cents. It's very tight. So market's going to get ready to do something here. I'm not sure if it's going to be tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. We'll have to see. We could rally actually here up into the close. This is really something. We might close green today. It, 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 this is this is setting up for a breakout play. If you did breakout plays, you'd be buying this in here over the breakout. <laughs> it's getting ready to do it. So very bullish. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. We're looking at the spy. Just seeing the total strength in the SPY here. Everything is doing is strong, strong, strong. I never said anything but up for the SPY, even despite these gap downs. They weren't good enough, okay? They just weren't good enough. This is a pull-in, but it did it this way. It took a while to get up over here. Well, not a while, uh, less than two weeks, but we did it. We did it with power yesterday. Nice buying yesterday. I lift up on through a gap up today, and we're holding in the middle of the sky. So higher, higher, higher for the SPY. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is a spy review on September 10th. If you'd like more information on how to read charts and read gaps and read support and resistance and technical analysis, learn technical analysis, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. I teach a gap class doing one this weekend, September 14th and 15th. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.